you're right. I chose to say a word. A word that is repeated hundreds of times by rappers every day in music videos and on the radio. But I'm not allowed to say it. Because racism. Words have the power that you give them. That's what I'm saying about that. As a reader and a writer, I know that words only have as much power as you let them have. A word means nothing if you don't have any power behind it. He could have called him a doorbell. He could have called him anything. The word that he chose at that moment while the man was lying dead or dying at his feet was the most offensive, derogatory word you could use against a black person. So in repeating that by quoting it, you're right, I did say it. It's important to know that he said it. They're cutting that out of the trial. They're saying that doesn't matter. It matters. Exactly because of the way you guys are reacting to me saying it in a non-inflammatory manner. Y'all are angry and ready to form a lynch mob because I said a word quoting the man who said it intentionally. Now there's a little dog that's going to bite me. Um, anyways, Chucky's not going to bite me. He's a good dog. He's just loud. Um, the word is not, it, this isn't a Harry Potter novel. Okay. It, this isn't Voldemort. Saying the word isn't going to instantly, you know, cause chaos to happen and erupt in the world. It is still just a word. It holds a lot of meaning, but it also only holds the meaning that you give it. Taking it completely out of context and putting it in a different context to make people angry, that's, it's fucked up. It's targeted. It's racist. It is using me simply using the color of my skin and saying those words to incite hatred against me as a white person just for repeating a word that should be said in regards to this trial because it was said only minutes after the murder of a black unarmed man who was chased down with guns and pickup trucks and then they had the audacity after finding out he was unarmed and they murdered him to call him that and then to post pictures of his bleeding corpse on Facebook and the worst was they told his mother that he was in an armed robbery he was robbing people at gunpoint which didn't even happen don't tell me there's no racism in this freaking case. The fact that they want to be they won't allow them to talk about it is the largest proof that that's exactly why it happened. Because if it was really if it really didn't matter, they would talk about it. They're talking about a lot of shit that don't matter. Like the fact that Travis had been um Wild with his guns in the past. He was known to go after people. He was known to be a neighborhood vigilante. Well, then the question should be, why didn't anybody fucking stop him? And those saying that Confederate flags mean nothing, you're delusional. The Civil War happened because of slavery. Point blank. The Civil War happened because they wanted, the northerners, wanted to abolish slavery. And the southerners, the white people, with their plantations and cotton, they didn't want to get rid of their slaves. They didn't want to free them. So they went to, they literally went to war to keep their slaves. And that was the Civil War that y'all are saying was no way racist. They went to war to maintain their right to keep human beings as their personal property. Shut up.